Monaco was my second race this year. Yeah, it was a real, really hard race. I was not really comfortable. Um, and then, yeah, somehow at the end, I, I managed to, yeah, I don't know, find another gear or whatever and win. So, yeah, it was, was pretty good in the end, although it was much uh, harder than I remember, <laughs> remember from the last time I raced mountain bike. Yeah, it was uh, just nice to to do this uh, this race in uh, in Switzerland because it was really a big uh, field. Yeah, it was inter it really interesting for me to to see uh, how was my shape and um, yeah what I need to improve. Yeah, I had a, a pretty good race. I mean, I didn't feel uh, good, but also I had a really big week of uh, of training. So yeah, the goal was to to work out uh, during this week and uh, to to take the race like uh, as a training because the main goal is uh, this weekend to try to to be good for the World Cup in uh, November. So now we are going to the next hotel uh, in Germany and we will finish uh, the road tomorrow by bike. So I think I will have a hard time again in uh, Tom's wheel, but um, yeah, like I say, it's uh, today and tomorrow uh, the last big uh, session before the, the World Cup. So yeah, I'm looking forward to, to be in Czech Republic now. We're going to drive out um, and meet Tom, uh, who's doing a, a long ride, 193 k's today. Uh, we're going to hook up with him, so Pauline is going to do 120 k's together with Tom. So yeah, good weather, no rain so far, so all looking good on our way to Novo Mesto. I always like doing a long ride after a hard race. Flush out the body a little bit, you know, a bit old, old fashioned kind of uh, theories, but uh, yeah, I like it. Nice to do a long, long steady ride. Pauline is super experienced, I have a lot of respect for her and what she's, she's achieved, so it's nice to, to have a team like, a teammate like that actually. And usually I like doing all this stuff by myself, but you know, Pauline actually, I don't mind her being here. She's uh, yeah, respectful and she values her space and my space and it's, uh, it, works, it works pretty well actually, it's good. And obviously, yeah, she's world champion, so she's uh, the stuff I can learn from her. Yeah, they did a, an amazing job because uh, yeah, they start uh, to work on this bike in November, I think. So in three months, uh, they get to to produce like a like a new bike. They came from nothing, so. Yeah, it's, it's really impressive. We tried the bike, I think it was in February. We did some testing and uh, immediately we said it's, uh, it's crazy good, like it was almost nothing to, to change. So now for sure we have to get used to it and also to, to do the setting with the suspension and everything. But yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty impressive what they, they made. But like the first time I rode it, it was mint, so there was not really much to do. Of course, there's a few little things that, that uh, I want to change, but um, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a fantastic bike. Yeah, yesterday was big training day, actually my last training day of 
the spring. I'll have a break after never messed up. So yeah, it was it was tough. Did uh, yeah about four hours on the mountain bike. Yeah, with some efforts, some shorter, intenser efforts. Yeah, I did a really big week last last week. Now I need to recover, but you have to keep the body like um, going. Otherwise, I will be really sleepy. We have to push uh, the body again. Yeah, for me, it's training is a is the best part of uh, preparation. Just take your bike and go somewhere else. I like the preparation like uh, more than racing, if I can say, and yeah, I just love training, so for me it's, uh, it's fine to train up. Yeah, Nova Mesto is yeah, a fun place for me, because I never lost here. See, so, yeah, I always like coming back here, I've only had, had good, uh, good memories, good races, good fun so um, yeah it's just a nice nice place to be you know these little little houses and uh, yeah just kind of a little trip away You know, I came to, to this team, to Ineos Grenadier, like uh, last year. And so for me, like everything is uh, new, new team, new bike, new setup. And I have to, to get to used to everything. So for this season, I would say like it's uh, to experiment a bit everything in the team and to see what is good and what is not good. The main goal will be like uh, next year with uh, the Olympics in Paris. So now we are trying a lot of things also about like nutrition and to, to make sure that I will be the best for uh, next season. I got told it's three o'clock this afternoon that I was running short track. It was actually quite nice starting at the back. I could ease myself into it a bit. Worked my way up. Yeah, it's nice, it's nice. My first short track win, actually. Uh, find... Yeah, I, I had the feeling I, uh, I was able to make it, but yeah, I had a few problems and uh, I was not able to, to scream for the victory, but yeah, it's a fourth place, so first fourth on Sunday. I hope uh, I will have the same legs and uh, I think I can be good. Yeah, I'm feeling really happy on the bike and also when I wake up in the morning I just think about uh, training and you know to have like a healthy life and um, just to give the best of myself so um, yeah for sure I, lo I love my job, I'm really lucky. Well I guess cy cycling is my, well it's my life isn't it? And. I think a big thing for me riding different bikes is like, to me it's, it's comfortable, it's easy to switch between bikes. So it just keeps it interesting, fun, something new, new challenges. I think that always uh, brings the best out of me. I also like winning, to be honest. So um, <laughs> I do this also to, to be the best and uh, to win. Uh, but yeah, the main goal will, will stay like uh, next year with Olympics in Paris. I never won an Olympic medal, so I would like to, to win the Olympics and in Paris at home will be like, uh, will be amazing. Like the whole